Hello and welcome to another episode of My Dinosaur Show. Today we will be learning about more unfamiliar ceratopsians. Now, ceratopsians, ceratopsians are horned dinosaurs. And these horned dinosaurs, these horned dinosaurs live from the, from the late Triassic to the late Cretaceous. Period. Now we talk we talk about one ceratops called Triceratops in, in show two. And but now and now we're gonna talk about less familiar ones. Such as Pentaceratops. An eight meter an eight meter long ceratopsian, which means five horned face. And was and the reason why it's called five horned face because it had five horns. Easy. One, two, three, five, six. Similar to the Pentaceratops, footprints into the water, and which may paint they ran. So it's possible that Pentaceratops ran too. Now to the next, the next ceratopsian. If the ceratopsian is the, for example, really, really spiky Styracosaurus. As you see here, we have an illustration right over here. This is how Styracosaurus might have looked like in real life. Now, this just shows Lot, this figure shows lots of spikes which it might have had. Actually, we do have for, we do have evidence that had this many spikes. So here it has one large nose horn and two and f and two two other large horns here and another two over here. Four large horns on the frill and one on, on the nose. Styracosaurus skull has been found and it has overlapping spikes. We now know that, for, that, that it was from an injury that healed strangely. Now, for the next dinosaur we're going to talk about is Taurosaurus. The Taurosaurus is, is 6.2 meters to, to about 7.6 7 meters. The Styracosaurus is smaller, although in fact it's the same size really. The Styracosaurus was 5.25 and it also lived 75 million years before Taurosaurus and lived in Montana and Alberta. In Montana I lived and then about five million years. In my time I lived in Alberta called Triceratops. In my time I lived in Alberta Now this is a little Here is a huge frill and its and its skull was even bigger was even bigger than Triceratopses, but sadly, but sadly, Pentaceratops's skull beat Taurosaurus with a skull up to three meters. That is wrong. Now, unlike, unlike most Ceratopsians, Taurosaurus has short horns. However, they still they're still sharp and and. I could have been used for the facts. It now it had and like all ceratops it, it had a beak. A beak for stripping plants and it also had visible cheekbones. It, and 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 the cheek teeth inside there might have helped to chew to chew and digest and grind the plants it ate. That's all from this episode and see you later for more dinosaurs.